Hello everyone and welcome to the first devlog of my rocket building system. For the base of this asset I'm using my modular building system and I'll basically be showing you all the features that I've added to tailor it towards a Kerbal Space Program styled game. This is purely focusing on the building system. There will be some basic flight mechanics but you'll see that later on in the video and this asset will be a, an amazing jump start into building a Kerbal Space Program styled game. Now this is a clip of me actually developing the modular building system. And as you can see, the goal for this system was to build a grid based building system, which is why I had the blocks. However, with uh, many hours and weeks of development, I actually made a combination between a free form and snap placed building system. And this works perfectly for the rocket building system and is super similar to Kerbal Space Program, where you can place blocks on the uh, super obvious snap points. And if you don't want to do that, you can place components such as batteries or solar panels on the side of the object. Now I am in the process of 3D modeling all those components, so bear with me with these temporary assets. Now another feature idea that I had when developing the modular building system is to include different components that do different things. For example, I had the idea for a rotating component. Now for the rocket building system, the rotation speed is a variable so you can control the rotation rate and uh, you'll be able to toggle it off or on with a keybind. That's also another big thing with this asset pack. You'll be able to keybind the different actions of blocks to your keyboard. And that is super useful, especially when you want to have things like toggleable lights or toggleable solar panels that the player needs to be able to control. Another idea that I had for the modular building system was to create some sort of hologram view of all the relationships that the block has. So I didn't end up including it in the rocket building system, but I did think it was a cool little thing to include in this devlog. I had my first landing in this clip here where I constructed the rocket. This was the pre snap point system. So this was still using the old system and the way I've developed the new system is so much better than this old system was, but I did have a, a rotating block and I did have a fuel tank and a thruster. The big bar on the left is the amount of thrust that the rocket is producing. But yeah, this is the first landing that I had. It's very rough. And as you can obviously tell, there have been massive improvements and I still continue to improve it. But yeah, this definitely marks the first landing. So with some time and uh, some iteration, one of my friends helped me develop a landing leg system. And this is once again, a temporary model for the landing legs, but we did our first high speed retrograde landing with the landing legs. And as you can see, the landing is so much smoother as opposed to just bouncing off the ground. It just improved the quality. And, but that was one major feature that I needed to get added into the project just to make it feel cleaner. There were a few things that I wanted to change and one of those was definitely the capsule model because I wanted to start getting a feel for the art style. Now I still haven't finalized this but I feel like this low poly aesthetic works really nicely with these clean and simple colors. Now one of the features that I was hesitant to add in the beginning was the mirroring feature because I knew that there would be different ways to mirror different objects. There would be specific limitations like if you're on a snap point you won't be able to mirror an object because you'll just end up placing two objects inside of each other. Then there were the rules for defining what radial axis you would mirror around and these are all different things that I was hesitant to add in the beginning because I knew there'd be a lot of rules but I ended up getting a pretty solid system. So now that we're in the new project, as you can see, it's way cleaner. What I decided to do before I would work on the tree duplication system or the tree prefab saving system is to have children of a specific object be a different color. So as you can see that the child of each independent block is a different color and the color is set on begin play where a random debug color is picked and that really made it easy to visualize what is the descendant of what. Yeah, so that is the rocket building system and that is the progress that I've made so far. If you have any questions or anything you would like to be added to the rocket building system, please leave them in the comments below because I am actively working on getting this asset published on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And once that goes live, I'll post the second devlog and the showcase video and also create some videos going in depth on how to set up the project, add it to your project and work with the rocket building system and incorporate it into your own game.